I want to frame for you guys today, uh, personally, how I got involved in this whole thing. I was headed back to town from Jacksonville Beach when um, I stopped at a, one of the intersections and uh, a motorcycle, a group of motorcycles, about 12 of them, decided they didn't want to wait. They felt like they deserved to be in the front of the line, so they drove through all the vehicles, spread out across the front of the intersection, and then intentionally began folding their um, tags up and their, whether they were paper tags or metal tags, hiding them so they can't be detected. No one could call and tell us what it was they were doing. When uh, they saw me there, I turned on my blue lights and was going to go around and try to stop them. When they saw me there, they intentionally looked back, took off, and they fled. I followed closely as I could, as closely as I could. They were popping wheelies, weaving in and out of traffic, just doing everything they should not be doing on our roadways. At that moment, um, the under sheriff was sitting right next to me in the, in the passenger seat. He grabbed a hold of the police radio. And he started calling in and asked for an air unit to come and assist us. The air unit arrived, maintained a visual, and started calling out locations so that the police the units in the area could, could be in the locations where they see those guys, those guys heading. The goal, to make to, to just conduct traffic stops, to stop them, cite them, and arrest them if they fled from us. Um, so the air unit tracked those motorbikes for several hours, observing them engaged in, like I said before, all sorts of dangerous driving habits and patterns, routinely running red lights, cutting off oncoming traffic, speeding, generally flagrantly ignoring traffic laws. At 11 o'clock that night, I received a, a, another complaint about the same thing um, in our um, old field crossing area of our town, which is in, Man in the Mandarin area. They took over down there. They are in parking lots. They're on the roadways. They're doing wheelies. Whatever you can imagine, they're just doing it. And over the weekend, JSO received 80 calls for service from concerned citizens reporting this type of behavior. We get this stuff all the time. And listen, I want to say this. There are people in this city that get on social media um, who you would think are responsible people and they try to diminish the fact that this is a dangerous the dangerous thing and threaten um, lawsuits or whatever you want to imagine over social media well we're going to do our job because this is our responsibility traffic enforcement is a part of our responsibility so we're going to continue to do that um, so let's let's look at the instagram uh, instagram that was what we found out we found out about that Instagram post. So our, our, our agency took uh, decisive action, created a tactical operation plan. Um, that was uh, the ground day deployment. Throughout the day, Saturday, the deployment uh, drew officers assigned to a variety of units, our air unit, our traffic, patrol, community problem response, bike unit, DUI units. So there was 18 arrests, 18 individuals were arrested Friday and Saturday. Only two of these individuals live in Jacksonville. The vast majority of those um, individuals were arrested. Um, they traveled from states including North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey. And they were arrested for a variety of charges. The most uh, dangerous one was an aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer, fleeing and attempting to elude a law enforcement officer, reckless driving, racing on the highway. Officers issued over 72 citations. During that deployment, seven motorcycles were, were seized. I want to give members of the public the visual sense of what these ground riders do and were doing on our roadways this past weekend. Our real-time crime cameras across the city captured some of these riders on Friday and Saturday on Jacksonville's roadways. We put together a short video presentation that includes clips from this camera, camera footage. They're headed, uh, Looks like this is Phillips Highway. Look, now watch. You'll see them doing wheelies. They're doing wheelies in, uh, in all the lanes. They're not obeying any lanes. Uh, you'll see a four-wheeler come through here that is not street legal. More wheelies just going through the red lights. You know, I guess they figure they don't have to stop. But this has been happening for a while. I've actually been caught up in one of these when I was, when I was not sheriffing. Um, and you can't, there's very little you can do about it. This is another one. Watch them. They're going to stop a car running a red light. They're stopping this car so they can, they can all run the red light and get across. Another one. Stopping. Someone's going to run across the road. Red light. 
He's going to wave everyone through. As he watches. The same intersection, just a different angle. Watch the one, watch the one that just pulled ahead. Where, he's, he pulls ahead. Another one's going to decide, yeah, I think I want to get up on the sidewalk for a second, see what that's like. Let me get down now as they continue through the red light. Wheelies, more wheelies. Same intersection, just a different view. <clears throat> so this is not just a out of town problem either. There are these groups that are Jacksonville based that do the same thing. Um, a few days ago, as I was heading down the Hart Bridge, about 4.30 in the afternoon, there was a group of them heading up the Hart Bridge on one wheel. Again, more wheelies. Some may ask, why are we concerned about it? Well, it's, it's all illegal. You're not supposed to do this. If you're going to operate a motorcycle on our roadways, you have to obey traffic laws. And we're fortunate enough that we didn't have any fatalities over the weekend. So that deployment illustrates how reactive and responsive to community needs this agency can be. Immediately upon learning of the Grand Day on, the Grand Day on Friday, we pulled our intelligence together, resources, and developed a plan to protect Jacksonville citizens on our roadways. The men and women of this agency executed on that plan during this deployment, taking motorbike riders who were more concerned with stunting for their buddies than the roadway safety of our citizens. <clears throat> 